Well, today in 2012, I would say that social media is uh, definitely a very important channel for businesses as well as even for consumers itself. The problem is actually in terms of how the businesses approach social media. So if we look at popular media channels like Facebook or even your forums, your social media, uh, you have Twitter and YouTube, what we need to understand is that a social media is a social channel, not a commercial channel. So to tap social media, what we want to do is, as businesses is to ensure that we capture the audience's attention and probably bring them and get them interested in what you have to accomplish. So I have this formula known as uh, AIDA. It's called Attention, Interest, Desire, Action. So a lot of people who use the social media channel and they try to sell something, they become quite unsuccessful because a lot of times the channel is not the appropriate channel. As I said again, the social media channel is a social channel, not a commercial channel. So it's a great platform for you to get the attention and interest of users. And in this regard, the most powerful aspect about social media is the reach, the ability to reach massive amounts of people in a very short period of time. So social media, create relationships, create interests, but try not to sell so quickly. If you look at the growth of social media around the world, you will see an unusually high growth in countries like Indonesia, Vietnam, for example, or even China in their own right. And it, it, it's certainly a fantastic channel for slightly less developed countries as opposed to very developed countries in that sense. So to me, there's a great opportunity exists out there for Indonesia particularly. People are hungry, people are well-connected, and when I say well-connected, I mean well-connected to the internet. So again, the social media channel is incredibly important for businesses to understand the keys in terms of how you tap the channel and how you engage with your audience. And what I would do is to ensure that we develop um, free campaigns, free is always good to start off with, and learn to engage users, uh, educate them, make them understand what your products and services are all about, and basically you know, pull them from, your, from the social media channel into your own marketing sales funnel. So it has great growth and potential, and let's hope that the, the businesses understand how to use the channel appropriately. So I own and run nine businesses pretty much across Singapore, Malaysia, and we have a small office in Indonesia as well. Certainly, with all these new advances in the internet, we have, of course, the search engines, we have social media, there's going to be a growth in demand for the need for education. So a lot of times, such channels appear very simple to use and, you know, a lot of people may think that you're guaranteed results, whatever your results are, but that's not actually true. Small businesses will need help in understanding how to develop a strategy to employ, to utilize the channels effectively. So in this regard, I think that people who are educators, consultants, have a very important role to play. The market is huge, but we all have to figure out what our value proposition is to the businesses out there. If you can figure out your, your value proposition, I think that the internet, both on the search side of it and the social media side, has a lot to offer for us. Well, if we are looking at search engine marketing, which is really where my expertise comes from, and going to be looking at strategies to dominate the search engines, both in organic search as well as paid search. I think the most important thing and message from Google's perspective, at least this year, with Panda and Penguin and all the algorithmic updates designed to weed out poor quality site, 
is that all web owners who want to participate in the search channel, especially with Google, have to learn to up your value. So we're talking about not just having a website, but a website that communicates unique value, unique information. Now, of course, just because you provide unique information does not mean that you necessarily will benefit from the search channel. There has to be a, a, prop, you know, a proper structuring of your website. So Google has given us some guidelines on what to do and what not to do, but essentially you really want to, to understand uh, Google's perspective of what a high quality website is. And of course, there's a science to it. it uh, there's a study known as, there's a strategy not out there known as search engine optimization. But again, you have to be careful in terms of how you go about employing search engine optimization or SEO because a lot of the techniques that maybe used to work many years will not work today. If you approach the search channel with, for example, uh, automating content, automating your backlinks and off-page SEO, you will realize that such methods will unlikely work moving forward. So certainly there's a lot of um, readjustment that is required, especially for sites which have been around for a longer time and who use to approach this manner from an automation perspective. Uh, certainly you're going to be at risk with your approach and essentially if you don't move forward, then what Google is saying is that you have to learn to give value. All of us have to learn to do that if you want to achieve long-term success with the search engine channels. Mm -hmm.